We in turn have been studying regions around us that may have superfoods. I studied the Columbia River and Taryn studied the Cascades. Yeah. And some of the things I lo- learned from the Columbia River is there are three types of berries there that are like the main berries, star blackberries, marion berries, and service berries. But some other superfood berry- berries around us are raspberries, blueberries, huckleberries, blackberries, and cranberries. And some of the fish in the Columbia River is bass, walleye, catfish, trout, salmon, and steelhead. Wow. And those are the main superfoods of Columbia. Well, he did the Columbia, I did the Cascades, and uh, basically all of Western Washington and Western Oregon are kind of all wet areas. So a lot of the plants in the Cascade area have most of their uh, food or edible parts. Well, I guess they're mostly all edible, but edible. But they're like if it's a beet, most of it, the red part would be underground to keep it away from the harsh weather. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. This episode was brought to you by Thrive Market and these other wonderful sponsors. Magic Spoon, Fresh Pressed Olive Oil, Wake Up Foods, and Desert Farms. Today we're going to be answering all all of your guys' questions and thank you for giving us all these awesome questions. Yeah! Make sure if you guys have questions to register them at gogreenfields.com. And if you are hearing a high-pitched, like, clicking, whirring noise in the background, that's because we're using a machine called the Biocharger, which our dad uses for biohacking. For so. biohacking! Yeah! It just kind of sends off energy and, like, fishy, signals. Fishy biohackers. Yeah! And the recipe we're running on the Biocharger is something called Nitro, which gives you energy, so we're going to be super energetic and answering all these awesome questions from all you awesome people. So if you hear us bouncing it, no, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's get started. Let's get started with the Q&A. Question one. Numero uno. Someone named Jack asked, what is your favorite thing to eat for breakfast? Um, oh. Um, breakfast is my favorite meal. <sighs> breakfast, so. Yeah, breakfast is our favorite <laughs> meal, so we like to divvy it up a lot. Usually our mom makes breakfast. We usually make lunch a lot. And do the animals while she's making breakfast, but we also do make a pretty mean uh, bacon, egg, cheese sandwich. Yeah, I made really that. Good. I actually made that today. Yeah, it was really it was good. Delicious also. But my favorite thing that our mom makes for breakfast is probably Dutch baby. Dutch babies are delicious. It's like kind of like a big poofy pancake with like Crispy cinnamon skin and it's super good with syrup. You can it's like put, giant. Yeah, it's 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 delicious. super good. Especially like if you have pie. a little bit of powdered sugar and lemon to drizzle. On. Yeah, it's super good. Okay, next question from Xavier. We're not, we we could, we can't pronounce names. <laughs> Is it X Xavier or Xavier? Tell us in the comments if you. <laughs> yeah, Xavier or X Xavier, whichever one. Sorry, we can't pronounce your name. His question is. I'm what? twelve, and my dad told me about y'all, and I was wondering if y'all play games. All I, at all, I play Fortnite, Minecraft, Call of Duty on PS4, and I have a YouTube channel called Big Fat Oofs. Wow. So we looked up the channel. It's actually pretty cool, so you guys should go su- subscribe to it if you guys can. And, and subscribe to our channel. And subscribe to our channel. <laughs> and to answer your question, I'm going to call him Xavier. Xavier. Uh, we do play Minecraft. And that's it. <laughs> and that's about it. <laughs> Sorry. But, yeah, cool. It's a fun game. And next, if you could have any mentor, special guest on the show, who would you choose why? Or why. Or why. In- okay. Uh, uh, hmm. I think I'd have my brother, Taryn. He's a really cool guy. And he's already on this channel, so I can't choose you. Um, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> okay. Mm. Do you know who you... Fant- uh, can it be like fantasy made up characters? Because if it's fantasy made up characters, definitely Calvin and Hobbes. They would yeah. be the perfect people to bring in here. Just randomly throwing eggs at the yeah, wall. Yeah, throwing eggs at the wall and yelling <laughs> at each other. That'd be awesome. That would be awesome. You guys um, would like that. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, I'll say why. <laughs> yeah. Why? Because it would be fun and funny and. Yeah. That would be a very comical show. Yeah. Welcome to the Calvin and Hobbes cooking show. Okay, let me think you about this. You should do the, the Swedish chef. Oh, yeah, I do the Swedish chef. That'd be really fun. That'd be that'd be funny. To Muppets. Muppets is like awesome. <laughs> so. <laughs> okay. okay, so <laughs> which brother questions now? Some 
things that make us fight over each other. Which brother yeah. is better at foraging? Me. <laughs> I think I'm Why? Better. I don't know. I feel like I identify plants and remember plants better than you. It's true. I can't remember anything. Yeah. Yes, you can, but not everything. <laughs> and I don't know. I feel like I have a better grasp on it than you. Yeah, I'd say you're a little bit better. It's not that... Foraging really isn't that hard. Yeah. You just kind of memorize the plant. Yeah, the hardest part is memorizing it. Memorizing what it looks like and stuff. Yeah. And I'm glad I'm not good at foraging for mushrooms because mushroom foraging is really hard. Yeah, mushroom foraging is actually dangerous if you don't do it right. Because yeah. actually, you can't. a lot of mushrooms look so similar to the ones that are edible and non-edible. That it's so hard to like distinguish that like, you can die from some of them, but uh, in the other form that are edible, they're really tasty. I'm good with plant foraging. Yeah, though. we're good with that's fun. Ones. Foraging really isn't that hard. Yeah. You just kind of memorize the plant. Yeah, the hardest part is memorizing it, memorizing what it looks like and stuff. Yeah. And I'm glad I'm not good at foraging for mushrooms because mushroom foraging is really hard. Yeah, mushroom foraging is actually dangerous if you don't do it right. Because yeah. actually, you can't. A lot of mushrooms look so similar to the ones that are edible and non edible that it's so hard to like distinguish that like, you can die from some of them. But uh, in the other form that are edible, they're really tasty. I'm good with plant forms. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's fun. fun. This episode was brought to you by Thrive Market and these other wonderful sponsors Magic Spoon, Fresh Pressed Olive Oil, Wake Up Foods, and Desert Farms. 